Welcome back. Let's quickly go into the application questions of models before we wrap up this lesson. Bongani, a certified gas dealer, sells 9 kilogram gas bottles. These cylindrical bottles are stored outside the shop in a steel locker. There is a gap of 15 millimeters on either side of the gas bottles when, it placed, when placed in the locker. The locker has three shelves. Calculate the maximum number of gas bottles that can fit in the, lo in the locker if a shelf is 1,650 millimeters long and 650 millimeters wide. Now remember, the gas bottle's diameter is 314 millimeters, but we need to take the 314, which is the diameter, and add 15 millimeters to it because there is a gas bottle and a space of 15 millimeters, another gas bottle, a space of 15, and another one. So each gas bottle has got an extra 15 millimeters that's needed. So that gives us a total diameter of 331 millimeters. Now let's see if we pack it in the length, how many will fit? Now it is 1650 divided by 331 and that gives us 4,9 so we have 4 in the length and then in the width we are going to say 650 divided by 33,1 and I can tell you now the answer is going to be 1 because it's a bit more than half of it it's 1,96 so we are going for 1 Therefore, there is going to be four per shelf. And remember, we've got three shelves, so it's going to be three times four, which is 12. So the maximum number will be 12. Bongani buys rectangular metal sheets with dimensions 2,2 no, meters by 3,5 meters. Calculate the maximum number of shelves that can be cut from one sheet. A shelf is 1,650 millimeters long and 650 millimeters wide. Now guys, remember, because we're working with rectangles, we are working with a rectangular uh, sheet of metal, which is 3,5 uh, 3, by 2,2. And we are working with a shelf that is 650 millimeters by 1,650. There is two ways that we can cut the shelves. We can either cut them with the length and the width compared to one another, or we can cut them in the length. Let's see which one of those will give us the maximum. So if we're going to compare the length with the length, it's going to be 3,500. Remember, we had to convert to millimeters so we had to um, we had to times and that is going to be 3500 divided by the 1650 so in the length we can fit 2,12 so that is then 2 and we take the width and divide it with one another which is 2200 divided by 650 and that 
is going to be 3 comma 3 8 so that is 3 so when we use this way it's 2 times 3 and we will be able to have 6 shelves now if we take the other way around the width and the length so it's the length compared to the width is 3500 divided by 650 that is 5 comma 38 so it's 5 and then the width and the length that is going to be 2200 divided by 1650 we saw and know it's going to be 1 so it's going to be 5 times 1 which is 5 so meaning if we pack the length and the length towards the width and the width we can use 6 shelves or we can get 6 shelves and therefore that will be the maximum 6 shelves Mandla works at a deli he makes and sells sandwiches the sandwiches are packed in triangular plastic containers they receive an order from a local school for 144 sandwiches will 144 containers fit in one box okay so let's remember the following they are being packed this way meaning two triangles together that makes a square so the triangular boxes are 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 5 and then the box that they will pack it into is 250 millimeters by 600 by 300 millimeters. That is what we need to remember. Let's make some space to work with. So now what do we do if we pack the two together we are going to have a length of 10 a width of 10 and a depth of 5 and there's going to be two that can fit so what we're going to do then is we are going to calculate the number that can fit into one box. So it's going to be 600 divided by 100 because we converted and that is 6 in the length. In the width it's going to be 300 divided by 10. We are working with that width now and that is 3 and then the height is going to be 250 it's over there divided by 50 which is 5 so we can pack 6 times 3 times 5 is 90 so it's 90 of the one box and we can actually pack 2 so therefore in a box we can fit 90 times 2 and that is 180 little containers in one box. So they received an order for 144 sandwiches. Will the 144 containers fit in one box? Yes, it will because it takes a maximum of 180 containers. Let's look at the last question. 12 cans, each with a diameter of 8 centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters, are packed in, cardboard, in a cardboard container. If two cans can fit next to each other across the width, so it's two cans across the width and also across the length, so there will be two as well, and it can have two layers that can fit in the box, calculate the di dimensions of the box. So remember, in the length, there can go 
two cans of a diameter. We're working with the diameter of eight. So that is 16 in the length and 16 in the width. And in the height, you'll see that they are stacked upon one another. So therefore we're working with the height of the tin and that is 12 centimeters. So it's going to be two times 12, which is 24 centimeters. Then the box must be 16 by 16 by 24. Sure, that's a lot. Let's take a break. I'll see you now.